I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Scrambling around. Ball is loose. Fumble. And it's picked up by one of the linemen. Second down and short. Ball on the 35. Makes it out to about the 37-yard line. He picks up a few with that carry, and it's enough to move the sticks. He's a reliable ball carrier, as he showed right there. He got the two yards they needed for a new set of downs. He fights forward to about the 39. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. the grab past the marker. Knocked out of bounds around the 42-yard line. He showed you right there why a defense can never lose tabs on it. Take your eye off him in coverage and he'll create a big play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Slings it left. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. And this one is a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 49. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 49 yard line. They'll knock him down for a loss. Fires 
quickly and it's picked off. The linebacker here does a good job with his instincts of getting in the path of the receiver. Boy, what a great play. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires quickly to the tight end. And they make the stop around the 49-yard line. Four yards away here on third down. Roger, Roger. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike on the 53. Mike 53. Let's go. Let's go. Throws incomplete, intended for his wide outs. Jackson was the intended receiver on the play, and that'll make it fourth down. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. He really got a hold of that one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. Looking for the corner. He's out to the 30, and he shoved out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. From their own 37-yard line, second down. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made at the 41-yard line. Stevenson makes the set at the 41-yard line. That makes it third and three. Larry, Larry. Mike 17, Mike 17. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So he got a few yards on that carry. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. From their own 47-yard line. First down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Mike 17. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Breaks one. He goes out of bounds at the 49. So at the end of one quarter, still no score. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. He gets rid of this one. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. White gets the ball, and down he goes at about the 21. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 21. He's out to the 30, brought down at the 32-yard line. And he 
just gets rid of it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. Strike complete. Tackle around the 33 yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. From the 33 yard line, first down. in the backfield. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signals straight. Third down and they need to get it to the 23. And watch out here. And he's taken down around the 23-yard line. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Well, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver. But the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. Nice run, and he's brought down. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Here's the tight end. Drops. From the 17 yard line. Second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Here's the 12th play of the drive. wide steps out of bounds at about the nine yard line fourth down they're going to go for the easy three here kicks up and the field goal is good and you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off He'll return it from the four-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is we still have such a close game despite how well they play. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. They'll bring him down at the 25. That makes it second and eight. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down at the 26. Georgia will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Makes the grab and steps out right away. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. Nice 
nice run up the middle. You wonder if they'll go to the no huddle here. There's not a lot of time left. Brigham Young just took their first time out. left and he'll lose yardage. So the halfback loses about two on the run. And here's another third down. Throws it in a hurry. That's a great tackle at the 47-yard line. It and he's hit hard immediately. This is the eighth play of this drive. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Catch there before he stepped out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. Tenth play of the drive. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Mike 17. Mike 17. Quick throw to the tight end. He lost the ball. He picks it up. A tight end is usually a very reliable option for the quarterback. So it's going to be interesting to see how quickly they decide to go back to him. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. He scrambled, and he's going to come up with a sack. He's got to throw it in a hurry. He steps up. And he tackles him hard at the one. He's on the run. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. It was a 13-play, 60-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So the score now, 7-3. This return should be the last play of the half. He'll need to break it all the way to give his team the lead. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They'll spread the field with five wide. Nice run there. Georgia's going to have to use their second time out of the half. 
They're about four yards away here on second down. Pressure got to him, and he put it on the ground. It's recovered. So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second-half offense. BYU in front, 7-3. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step wrap, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David. But could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, oh, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But you know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well, and you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time, and and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play, you know, the game out of their comfort zone. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Fielded at the four. And down he goes at the 27. They're ready to begin another drive. Brigham Young holds a four-point lead. He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 39. Fires it out. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. Got the corner. Good outside run there. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. From the 46-yard line, first down. Quick throw, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, it's a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. the stop at about the 23 yard line that makes it first and 10 first and 10 ball on the 23 Mike 17 Mike 17 Brigham Young is up four Here's a handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. This is the eighth play of the drive. Hey, 
under heavy pressure. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 27. quickly and he's got his man tackle made right around the 30 gaining three yards that'll make it 35 and down he goes to the 38 yard line It's first and ten. Ball on their own 38. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down at the 39. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Gets it out quickly. Pickens gains about a yard with a short completion. That brings up second and nine. From the 38-yard line. Second down. Gets it out to his receiver and he can't hang on. The quarterback has to be very careful, Brad, of throwing the football into a position where the wide receiver has a chance to get his head taken off. He threw the ball there and it made it easy for the defender to be able to separate him from the ball. He airs it out. Missed him. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved. But as you can see, he's upset here with himself. Quick strike to the receiver. That's such a huge letdown for this defense. That kind of conversion is just inexcusable. First and ten. Ball on the 16. Caught out in the open. He gets hit out of bounds at the one-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. And this is the tenth play of the drive. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. 
A nice 10 play, 76 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. And a 10 10 tie this game. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 27 yard line. The Cougars really had a tough first half, and i got to give them credit for hanging in there and uh, turning things around here in the third quarter. You're right, Brad. They could have just shut it down as bad as they looked in the first half, but great perseverance by the entire offensive unit. It's paid off. Back-to-back -back drives now. They've got points up on the Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. Tackle at the 40-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. Mike 17. Get ready. Yeah. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. That'll make it second and four. Tight, guys, double tight. Two down, two down. Mike 17, Mike 17. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That'll make it good. So at the end of three, this one's all even at ten. We're all tied up now as we head to the all-important fourth quarter. Huge, huge play by the defense here early in the fourth quarter. And a big stop in the tie game. That makes it fourth and inches. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Into the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 19 yard line. Loose football. And the quarterback comes in and scoops up the fumble. And he's taken down at about the 31. So it's the cornerback that comes up with a fumble, and this ball will change hands. Fumbles will absolutely drown an offense. It's hard to get into a rhythm when you make mistakes like that. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After, after review, review of the play, play the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. He's got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds around the 39-yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. That's good for him, seven yards. That'll bring 
Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He makes his way to about the 42. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. Mike 17, Mike 17. Check, let's play it right. Let's go. They'll bring him down around the 37-yard line. Second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 37 yard line. Ready! Ready! Easy, easy, easy! Delta! Delta! He makes it to the 35 yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. And he hits him hard at the 29-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 29-yard line. First down. The senior makes the catch. And he's tackled at the 15. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 15 yard line. The middle for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. Here's the eighth play of the series. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Tied up here in the fourth. Now would be the time for a goal line stand. Touchdown, Cougars! And he tacks on the extra point. Brigham Young, ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bulldogs were really mistaken if they looked at this game as a gimme. Well, they've been in a dogfight the entire ball game. Let's see what they can do with this final drive. They still have time here to be able to pull out and try to get a win. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Under a minute left in the game. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Let's go, let's go. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He scrambled. They bring him down. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Quick pass, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 42. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Let's go, let's go. They come out in an empty backfield. Five 
Fires out to his wideout. Georgia's going to have to use their second time out of the half. He's tackled at the 41. Strike over the middle. That's a great tackle. The 37 yard line. The spike will stop the clock. And this play is number eight on the drive. Pass right, running back's got it. And they make the stop at the 33. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. Slides down to the ground. We had a fight to the finish here today. 17-10, Cougars. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kerr Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.